Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to do a tech that I just sort of found. I'm gonna call it Time Warp because it's funny and it is frame perfect if you want to get the frames exactly that you want, but it's able to essentially create extra hittable frames. So it is frame perfect for what you want. We have frame perfect tech though, so I don't know how feasible it is, but anyway, I digress. So on the right side of the screen is going to be the pitch countdown and the frame of the hit. You can ignore the frame of the hit now but what you do is you move to the front of the box and as the pitch countdown hits a certain number I start sliding back and I'm going to hit the slice on this depicted frame too so when I advance the frame this should be a slice and it is now for weird reasons I don't understand if you move back at the exact same timing but you have an extra frame when you press A and you slice it. It's still a slice. So there were two different frames that I hit that on and both were a slice. Um, the numbering is kind of weird on the frame there, but the point being that by moving back at the exact right time, you can give Birdo an extra slice frame. It doesn't have to just be a frame perfect just moving backwards in general at the right timing can give you an extra frame if you don't care about the uh, which frame it is. But obviously, characters have better frames than others, so the timing is ideal. So Bowser, for example, can also do a similar thing there. If you start moving back at frame 10, if you look as I advance the frames, there will be two frame 8s there. So you're adding an extra hittable frame, and it's Bowser's best frame. So... That's kind of scary, but that is, uh, you know, something that is an option. So yeah, this is kind of rambly. I tried to keep it brief, but uh, yeah, hopefully we don't break the game with this, and hopefully it's interesting enough to watch, even if it's not very useful. Give it a try and see what you think. Thanks. Bye.